Christy has a presence. You know, she walks into a, a room and she conducts herself um, in a way that's, you know, attractive, appealing, engaging, um, welcoming. Uh, she has a lot of personality. Uh, she's aware of that personality. So one of the things that I think was especially helpful is she comes across very confident and very confident, but she was able to work in some personal um, experiences about herself and some examples about when she gets frazzled or when she finds that she's out of whack or what are her um, energy zappers. And so that brings her down to a level that makes people feel um, that she's a friend. Um, they can know her on a more personal level and that helps them to feel more vulnerable and also more willing to accept the training process. Our first training was colors and uh, our staff was totally engaged. You know, once they figured out what their color was and the attributes, the assets and the strengths that go with those colors, there were a lot of aha moments. Oh, you're blue. That's why you don't like when I interrupt you. Or, oh, you're yellow. Woo. That's why you can never stop talking when you walk in my office. You know, you're red. That that confirms why you always need to be in control, you know, um, and then, so that made it lighthearted and fun. But I distinctly remember several days later, um, our CFO came into my office and closed the door and he said, you know, that training we had about colors, you know, remember how greens, they dream during the night about what they're going to, how they're going to tell people off. I had one of those dreams last night. I'm not going to tell anyone off, but it was insightful for me to see what I'm carrying inside. So you get kind of a deep level um, self-reflection from the training, but at the same time, a lighthearted bantering collegial um, from the training. The second training we did with Christy was years later when we were feeling just a little, like we needed a little punch in our passion. You know, we needed to pick up our passionate side of the workplace. And so she was very effective in helping us look at a, you know, circle of our life and how much time and energy were we putting into different areas. And then did that time and that energy match up with our passion. And when we realized in some cases it didn't, it helped us to see when we were depleting ourselves rather than feeding ourselves and how that spills over into the workplace and that we all have different ways of caring and feeding for ourselves but um, if we're not doing it we're not bringing our best self to work so I would you know say that she's very receptive to outlining what your group your target audience is like and then toning that message to that audience <music>